Hey everyone, welcome to VGS World. You're watching me, Vinayaka. In this today's video, I'm going to talk about the thoughts and impressions of top tech YouTubers on Nothing Phone 2A. Nothing is launching their new budget range smartphone on 12th of March 2024 at 12 p.m. on Flipkart. This phone is getting launched at uh, 23999, but using card and other discounts, you can get this phone for 20,000 rupees on Flipkart. If you're new to VGS World and haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I request you to do it and support my channel. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the video. Let me run through the specification of this phone before diving into the video. This phone is coming with MediaTek Diamond City 7200 processor. It has got 32 megapixel of front camera and 50 megapixel of uh, primary camera. It has got 6.7 inch of AMOLED display which has got 120 refresh rate and packed with 5000 mAh battery so it easily lasts for one one and a half day of usage. And most importantly this phone is coming with Glyph interface which is the core design idea of nothing. This phone has Android 14 on Nothing OS 2.5. Coming to MKBHD, one of the top tech YouTuber and very well-known personality in USA. He says it is one of the designer phone and the prettiest phone, which is not going to win over anyone or any specs of other phones. It's placed at extremely competitive price point, which is of $350 in US. This phone is made up of plastic, premium plastic so scuffs and scratches are normal and it's reasonable for the trade-off that's what mkbhd think and also he thinks this phone is surprisingly lightweight and uh, feels jumbo sized phone in hand he doesn't have any complaints aesthetically on this phone he appreciates that this phone has got no bloatware he thinks that nothing is focusing on solid and smooth performance of phone and uh, he remembers the OnePlus magic at this point of time, looking at nothing. And also he thinks it's unique and identifiable. Overall conclusion of MKBHD on this phone is, it's a good solid all around smartphone, which is placed at a competitive price point, which may win in the budget category. Let's move on to the next tech tuber, who is B-Bomb. Devendra Maheshwari from B-Bomb thinks that uh, this phone is launched at very good price point of 23,999. And he thinks that uh, for some reasons, black variant feels much grippy in hand. Camera is functional, no bloatware, clean interface. Animations are smooth. So in one word, he says it's a premium software experience. He thinks uh, chipset which is used on this phone MediaTek Diamond City 7200 is pretty powerful and there is no lag or stutter. RAM management is good. Camera, mic, everything seems pretty okay. Coming to the battery, it gives a good battery backup of one or one and a half day. Only the limitations in battery is charging. It doesn't come with a wireless charging, but for the price point what we are paying, he seems it's pretty okay. And uh, anyhow, it is getting a 45 watt fast charging. So that is okay with battery. Coming to the charging, nothing is not included. The power brick inside the box. So that is where it is cost cutting. And Devendra Maheshwari from Bibom is not happy with that because all the phones which are under this price bracket comes with a power brick inside the box. Final conclusion of Devendra Maheshwari of Bibom is uh, it's a best overall smartphone under 25K. Let's move on to Trackin Tech. Mr. Arun from Trackin Tech thinks finally nothing has done a course correction from their previous phones. This is the first phone which is focusing on India for Indian consumers. That is what he thinks. According to him, in 2024, both hardware and software are pretty much equally important to get a seamless experience from any smartphones. 
and this is a phone which is going to become very famous because of its value propositions. It feels premium in hand and it has carried all the legacy from its previous models. This phone has got a pretty different camera modules than other phones. This phone is a fingerprint magnet. It attracts a lot of fingerprints. Mr. Arun thinks white color of this model gives more geeky look. If you're planning to get this phone for yourself, then don't forget to get a transparent case for the same. Overall, it comes with a clean interface, no bloatware and seamless hardware and software integration. It comes with nothing OS 2.5, which is uh, very refined now. Specifically, Mr. Arun from Track and Tech is not happy with the read and write speeds of this phone because it comes with UFS 2.2. This phone has front camera of 32 megapixel and primary camera of 50 megapixel along with an ultra wide lens of 50 megapixel. Final conclusion from Mr. Arun from Track and Tech is it's a value for money phone. Let's move on to the tech burner. Really got to appreciate the humor of tech burner. I really can't you know, uh, express those humors on this video. You got to watch yourself. I'll leave the links in the description below of that video. You can go and check it out. But still, I try to mention each and every thoughts of uh, him regarding this phone in this video. He thinks it's not premium. At the same time, it's not cheap. He feels it's interesting. He feels nothing has concentrated on certain things which are visible rather than something inside. And he feels that nothing has worked on each and every small aspects of this phone which results in a great performance. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. See you in the next video. Bye bye.